The shampoo and conditioner industry is a multi-billion dollar a year industry. The thing to keep in mind now is it's become a very precise industry. For example, if you have oily hair, dry hair, various colors, and in that sense, the science behind it has become more important. What our group is interested in is really to understand the fundamentals of how surface active molecules work. And a surfactant molecule uh, basically is a molecule that can interact with water and things that don't like water. And this is why it does such a good job washing your hair, is because it can stick to the dirt particles and get washed away really easily with the water. Until recently, most of the research associated with these type systems were constrained to the wet lab. And in here they had various ways of, of making the measurements to give them insight into the properties of the surfactants. But the problem is you, you don't really know what's going on on a microscopic scale. And you have to assume that a lot of things are the way you think they are. So the goal of our research is to use the mathematical models developed in our lab in order to do a sweep over interesting thermodynamic variables such as pressure and temperature to be able to have an idea how the product will behave under various conditions. A basic way of thinking about it is you have just a box and inside the box you just dump in a ton of particles, so a ton of little balls. Some of these balls are connected to each other through a spring and so they can vibrate with each other and the motions are correlated and some just hang freely. So what you have to do, you have to calculate the distances for each individual pair of particles. Traditionally on a CPU that's really tough because you have to use the CPU's version of a square root. However, on the GPU, it's great because you have a hardware device that actually calculates the square root for you, which means that you can calculate these individual distance calculations extremely fast. So one of the biggest advantage we get from GPU computing is that we have to run many simulations with different variants of molecules and different mixtures to see how they behave and how they react. Well, traditionally, these type of simulations are run on really, really big supercomputers, say with a thousand processors, and then you run these simulations for weeks or months at a time. But uh, if you want to do this on a supercomputer, you need a very large chunk of the supercomputer, and that takes a sizable effort. Whereas if you would have a cluster of, of GPU nodes, it's actually much more cost efficient and you get much, much more uh, throughput. The GPUs allow us to greatly increase the pace of research that we're able to do. Uh, so a simulation that might take 10 weeks on a CPU, we could do in a single week on a GPU.